in the meantime, I've been too busy watching actually good animations. And Nimona yeah. comes from a comic book artist. I, I believe it's a graphic novel. Uh, I have her like actual comic autobiography somewhere over here to the left of me. Um, I remember reading this book whenever it had come out. Okay. And I thought it was super enjoyable. I thought the characters, the artwork, the story, all of it was great. I remember they turned this into a movie. They were in, in production with it. And then it got shut down. And then it got revamped because, you know, I guess their, their quota numbers <laughs> kind of fell away for Netflix. And they brought it back after they complained about it, which should not have to be a process that needs to happen. But it is out now on Netflix. I thought it was a blast. I thought it was really fun. Uh, I love the animation, the style. Mm-hmm. It, it, it does everything that I think cartoons can do that you can't do with regular live action and making these over-the-top expressions uh, and hitting every emotion possible. And I also thought the voice acting was really great. Yeah. Um, And I remembered how much I really enjoyed the story from when I read it as a book. Definitely. I mean, it's so enjoyable and so beautifully animated. I I really uh, love the style of it and the colors of it, particularly, you know, you just like Nimona being depicted in this particular shade of red that it ends up being like contrasted against most of the other tones of the film really makes her pop in a mm-hmm. way that that's cool. Kind of like, you know, maybe not fully like spider birth verse, but has some uh, hints of that influence for sure. But there's just like a, a cool attitude to this movie too. Like it's a, it's a bit spunky. It's a bit uh, harder edged. I was surprised to see that it's rated PG. Cause it kind of feels like it, it skirts it that edge it. of being appropriate for children. Like it's definitely yes. not for like a, not for young children animated nah. movie, but it's really, really delightful. Chloe Grace Moretz, I think in particular is giving like a really excellent vocal performance. Uh, as Nimona uh, but it's like those small details it's one of those films animated films particularly where they've managed to fill lots of little moments with enjoyable things I love like right before uh, Nimona and uh, Bal- uh, Balthasar is it I- I'm forgetting uh, his first Ballister Ballister Riz? Um yeah, Riz's character. Right before the two of them are about to like run somewhere, uh, Nimona like hums a little something, and that thing that she hums ends up being the score of uh, the scene that they're uh, about to go into. So, it's like, clean, just the, bro. yeah, those little moments like that really elevate uh, something like this and gives you lots of little things to enjoy and appreciate about it. Yep, I would highly recommend Nimona. Definitely catch it over on Netflix. 